good morning. Um, today is obviously a very important day, um, selection day, and I'm sure different people have different feelings. Um, some of us are very anxious and uh, some of us are very excited. And so what I wanted to do was take this moment to wish you all well and uh, go through a very brief anchoring meditation, uh, anchoring on loving kindness, uh, because regardless of how everything comes out, uh, like this desert that has survived forever, um, we will endure and uh, we will thrive, we will flourish. Uh, so take a comfortable position. You can sit on the chair or on the floor or stand and relax your shoulders and take three deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And like in all loving kindness practice, we will start first with sending loving kindness to ourselves. And now I want you to focus on this desert vista and connect to Mother Earth. You know, we come from a long line, nourished and supported and homed by Mother Earth. Connect to that sense of embrace and love that the universe has for us, for you, and Mother Earth has for you. Imagine Mother Earth, the planet, the universe, sending you loving kindness. May you be peaceful. May you be joyful. May you be free of pain. May you be free of anxiety. May you be filled with love. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be the recipient of loving kindness. May you be the giver of loving kindness. Now take another breath and connect to how your body feels, how you feel. And you direct loving kindness to yourself. If you feel warm, embrace that. If you feel a little bit skeptical or uncomfortable directing loving kindness at yourself, imagine that you have survived and planet Earth is provided, the universe is provided and the universe holds you in her palm. Direct loving kindness to yourself and bask in that moment. Next, you're going to send loving kindness to all those that voted 
like you think you did. People that we think of are in group, our people. Regardless of which candidate you voted for, send loving kindness to all of them because you are in one in group, a circle with all of them. May you all be peaceful. May you all be joyful. May you all be free of pain. May you all be filled with loving kindness. May you all be recipients and givers of loving kindness. Thank you for sharing my beliefs for this country, for this world, and for the society. How does it feel to be connected with this large group of people that share a sense of identity and kinship with you? Bask in that warmth that you've generated, sending and imagine receiving loving kindness for all of them in this inner group, this in-group of people that view the world like you do. Say thank you. And now we are going to go one step further. We are going to direct loving kindness at those who did not vote like us or do not plan to vote like us, with whom we don't share values, with whom we don't share the same vision for what the world should look like, what the country should look like, what the society should look like. But remember, they are also nourished by the same mother, Mother Earth. They also come from a long line like you do, like I do. They also come from dreams. They also have vision. They also have passions. They also have humanity. They bleed like us. They love like us. So we have shared humanity. We are going to acknowledge that. And now, grounded in that understanding of connection rather than discord, bring them also into your circle. And send loving kindness to all of them that did not vote like us. May you all be joyful. May you all be peaceful. May you all be free of pain. May you all be free of anxiety. May you all be filled with loving kindness. May you all receive and give loving kindness. For we are all one. We may have different visions, we may have different values, but we are united as one human group. And now, peace and loving kindness to all those outside of our country, outside of the citizens who are affected by this election. For they are part of us. We are all one. So now expand your perspective, expand your circle beyond our in-group and our out-group who are all American citizens to everybody else and the rest of the world. Whatever the election results are, we are all one. Send loving kindness to all of the people, everybody in the universe. May you all be peaceful. May you all be joyful. May you all be free of pain. May you all be free of anxiety. May you all be filled with loving kindness. 
May you all be recipients of loving kindness. May you all be givers of loving kindness. Now, see how it feels. Imagine you're part of the whole chain of people. And we are holding everybody in loving kindness, people that voted like us, people that didn't vote like us, people that didn't vote at all, people that are not connected, all human beings. And now we are going to go one step further and send loving kindness to the entire universe and all sentient beings. Because we are just a blip in the history of the universe. And we are connected deeply to every sentient being, every living being that sustains the planet, the universe. May the universe be peaceful. May the universe be free of anxiety. May all beings be free of fear, free of pain. May all beings be joyful. May all beings be loving. May all beings be filled with love. May all beings be filled with loving kindness. May all beings know the joy of receiving and giving loving kindness. Now, see how it feels to dissolve some boundaries, regardless of the divisions, and connect to all sentient beings, for we are all one. We are all interconnected. Imagine you are like a big banyan tree that can stretch your arms, stretch your arms, and take the entire universe. Give yourself a tight hug. Stretch your arms, lower your shoulders, take a deep breath. And give yourself a tight hug, holding the universe in your heart, in your embrace, in your loving embrace of loving kindness. Stay as long as you wish to. Take a comfortable place. And when you're ready, you may end this practice. Thank you for joining me.